Hi everyone, this is Edwin from Edwin's Grocer here. Today what I have here is a tomahawk steak. I'm going to show you guys how to prepare it for sous vide. I'm just going to use simple just salt and pepper. If you are getting this particular brand of grinder, you can actually change the settings to the larger grain here. Okay, you can see here, there's actually three settings. You just change it to the larger setting and then you can go very generous on the seasoning you don't have to worry about it and you add in the black pepper flip it around equally generous on the other side as well done it's a very simple use of seasoning you have to vacuum it inside so what you have to do is you gotta measure the correct size it's gonna shrink a bit because it's vacuum so you gotta make sure that there's some allowance for it so after you're done with the measurement cut it into the right size you gotta make sure one end of it is sealed up first just need to seal off this open end first The thing is actually catch on properly before you can start the sealing process. This end has already been sealed. Cut it into the right size for the tomahawk. You can see what I've got here. I'm just going to drop the tomahawk inside. And actually pull the bag inside out like this. So that there's some allowance for it. So once you fold it back upside down in like that, use my hands here. Flip it back up. What you gotta do is to vacuum seal the other end. It's a bit heavy, so you just gotta be careful. All you have to do, you can actually add in seasoning that you actually prefer before you actually do the vacuum seal. This is basically how it's done. Next up, I actually got my Anova Pro here, which I'm going to sous vide the tomahawk. To set it up, of course, you need to have your sous vide tank. So there's a minimum level line that is written here, and this is the max line where it goes. Plug it in, just have to screw it on. Two different screws here for you to adjust the height. If you get the ANOVA Pro and you just go for the largest tank that you can find online, which is 24 liters, you don't really need to adjust the height of this catch here. All you have to do is just to screw it on. The height and the width has already been adjusted to fit the ANOVA Pro. It has basically just three settings. There's a Wi-Fi signal here at the top. And the first one is the current temperature. There's an app for it as well. You can just control it from your app. Click on whichever settings that you want to change. So for example, if you press and hold the very top one, it will actually change from, uh, you can see now, I change it from Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. And I can actually change it back to Fahrenheit. If you follow the recipes that is inside the app, majority of them are using a uh, Fahrenheit so you gotta be very careful you might mistakenly see Fahrenheit for degree houses then the whole thing will go haywire you just change the target temperature which is the middle one I've set it to 134 Fahrenheit the last one is the timing how long you want to sous vide it for I've set it here as two hours simply click on the time and then you just increase or you just minus, you can actually increase the time to whatever time that you want. So if you're making things like brisket, you want to do it for a longer period of time, you just change the setting from here. So after that, just press go. And it will start. So the advantage of Anova Pro, of course, is that the power is much greater than the Nano version. You can just cover it up. The heat does not escape. It will heat the target temperature faster. You always preheat the water to the target temperature before you actually drop the meat in. Okay, so I have already reached the target temperature of 133 Fahrenheit. I adjusted 1 Fahrenheit down and I've actually increased the time to 3 hours. I'm actually going to put in my tomahawk first. The largest surface area, the heaviest, should always go to the bottom. When you do the vacuum, you must make sure that it is really, really vacuum and there's no air bubbles inside. If there's air bubble inside, 
your stick will actually float, you will not get a very even coat. My stick has actually all sank to the bottom because I have vacuumed them really really tight. I actually bought this sous vide rack for you to uh, set them apart. You can just lower them in. They are fully submerged in the water for the water bath. That is from the A to Z the process of how you actually do a simple sous vide. It's very important to cover it back so that there's no heat loss. Watch out for my next video where I'm going to do a review of the ANOVA sous vide container which is the 20 liters container. It's really good. There's no heat loss at all and it's very evenly well insulated and heated. So I'm going to do a review of that versus a normal container. After this is done, I'll see you guys three hours later where we will prepare for the sear to finish it off. So after the three hours sous vide, the tomahawk is finally done. My sous vide at 133 Fahrenheit. The looks is not very appetizing. You have to pat dry. With the moisture there, you are not able to get a very good sear onto the meat. Pat dry on all sides including the fats you have to pet dry on the other side as well you have to season very very generously because part of the seasoning has actually been lost the juice are from the sumi bag you pet dry the fats the sides of it as well because you need to give it a good sear some of the pepper has actually come off so that's why you have to season it really very generously typically you lose 20 to 30 percent of the seasoning but with sumi you lose slightly lesser. You can actually get this torch from a lot of places like any supermarket you actually you can find this. We need a built-in gas tank as well. Simply so just... Okay, so when you torch right, you have to make sure you stay on the same spot for a while in order to get that fast. Luminous blue part, this part here right, it doesn't touch into your meat because you might actually get the built-in taste into the meat. You are actually looking for a crust which is something like this. Uh. Yeah, the tomato typically is a very fatty cut. You get a very good crust. Because of the fattiness of the meat, right? There's a lot of seasoning. Don't forget to touch the sides of the stick as well. Smells like barbecue. Oh, you can see the look at the oil, the oil, the oil. There's sizzling on top of the stick. You can see that this is the effect that we are going for. This is the chuck effect that we are going for. Do a pan sear of the stick after you sous vide. You don't necessarily need a barbecue pit like this. You can just do a simple sear in a high heated pan. You can just do it for like 30 seconds on each side, and you are going to get the same effect as well. So now I'm done with the tomahawk stick and I'm going to cut it off the bone. I'm going to do a tasting of the tomahawk stick. Mm. Tastes fantastic. Uh. Just nice. Medium rare and it's tender. Because you have to season it well enough. And when you do the clutching of the thing, you can actually taste the chuck taste of the fats itself and together with the black pepper that I've added in earlier on. Can you help us cut this? Sure. Small piece. Okay, if you eat this. it with the fats. Okay. Why are you examining the <laughs> I must take a good Why are you studying? Such a beautiful piece of meat. Yeah, yeah. let's just eat that. Right? <laughs> very... Waste, waste food, oh, but the chuck smell very nice, man. Yes. 
So that is the effect of torching the steak itself. If you don't torch it, it's perfectly fine. You take it out of the sous vide bag, you can actually eat it as well. It's still medium rare, but you don't have that charred taste of the fats and the pepper. So how is it? Two thousand years later. <laughs> It's a little bit chewy at the front, mm -hmm. but once I bite into it, the seasoning comes out at one go. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can okay. another one? Sure. Just yeah. help yourself. This is the one oh one of doing a sous vide. I've actually shown you guys how do you pack, vacuum pack the meat to using the sous vide machine itself, and all the way until towards the <laughs> until towards the. <laughs> the finishing part of it. So I hope you guys find that this video is helpful to you guys. In the next video, I'll be doing something else. So watch out for my next video. Okay? okay, so see you guys. Okay. Bye. Bye.